Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the saxophone, and we're going to be doing lesson, excuse me, book two, lesson five. Book two, lesson five. I hope you've already warmed up on your scales and are ready to go. Okay, let's look at lesson five, song one. Grass, upper grass, upper grass. Uh, check the F sharp key signature. Eh, hey, there's no Fs in it. Remember when a melody ends on G, it also often has the F sharp key signature, even if there's no Fs in it. Okay, ready? Warm up the beginning of song one. Okay, song number one. Ready? Go! Song two, no key signature. Do you trust yourself to remember to play F with first finger? There are some Fs toward the end of the song. Feel free to draw a natural sign if you think you're going to forget. Okay, song two, warm up the beginning. Song two, one, two, ready, go. Song three, F sharp key signature, no Fs. It does say practice slowly at first, so you might. I'm I'm gonna play it at a, at a quicker speed. Tick a tick a t t. If that's too fast for you, certainly feel free to turn off the video and practice it at a slower speed. But then I encourage you to try to work it up to the speed where you can play it along with me. Okay, song three, warm up the beginning. <laughs> One, two, song three, go. Kind of scalish. Okay, song four is similar, but um, just higher, up, up four steps. No key signature, so Fs are going to be first finger. It does go up to some high A's. Everybody warm up the beginning of four. One, two, song three, go. signature, no Fs. Again, kind of challenging. If you need to turn off the video and practice it slower, certainly do so. Uh, warm up the beginning of five. One, two, song five, go. switch to the flute. I'm just having some trouble with my lips, so my lips get tired. I can't play the saxophone very long, but I can handle playing the flute. Okay, so let's take a look at song six, the one called Dreary Day. I'm going to get a quick sip of water. Check the key signature. Notice that there are two sharps on song six. I hope you remember that that means F sharp and C sharp. F sharp and C sharp. And there are definitely lots of C's, and there is an F, there is F's also, so there's both. There's high F's and low F's. So write reminders to yourself. If you think you need reminders, go ahead and write them in. It's totally, totally okay to write reminders in. Okay, F sharps and C sharps. Um, there's a DC Alfine. 
Remember, DC Alfine means to return to the beginning and play along and stop at the word fine. The fine is at the end of the first line. So song six, Dreary Day, is kind of challenging, kind of challenging. So I'm going to play it on my flute. It should totally match the sound of your sax. It should be just fine to play together. Even though I'm playing the flute and you're playing the sax, it should still sound, sound fine together. Okay, so song six, remember to use F sharp and C sharp. Everybody warm up the beginning of song six. That's the speed I'm going to go. If it's too fast for you, remember, just listen to me play it at first, um, and then, you know, work it up to speed. Okay, including the DC Alfine, song six. One, two, ready, go. song. Okay, the one on the bottom is called Variation on a Theme by Beethoven. Okay, I again am going to play on the flute. Um, so check it out, it has some slurs. No key signature, no key signature. Um, so you might want to write some reminders that F is going to be first finger. If you look towards measure 10, you can see there is an F sharp accidental. There's lots of slurs. There's some of those accents, those arrows over the notes in measure 11. It means to play them louder, flick your tongue a little harder than you usually would. Measure 13 has a fermata. So on measure 13, I'm going to hold that note more than three beats. So you might want to look to the camera, and I'll give the nod. Then I want a slight uh, pause of silence before we move on. So in measure 13, you're going to hold the first note and watch me for the cutoff. There'll be a slight pause of silence, and then you'll see me lift into the next note and continue. Also notice that on this song, Song 7, Variation on a Theme by Beethoven, um, that there's a double set of repeats. And there's two sets of first endings and second endings. So it ends up being a long song. It ends up being quite a long song. Um, okay, so it also starts on a pickup note, um, so I'll lead it off with one, two, three, and then we jump in and play the song, including all the repeats. Okay, everybody warm up the beginning. <laughs> warm up the beginning, everybody. Okay, I'm going to lead it off with one, two, three. One, two, three.
wasn't exactly like the saxophone part. Kind of in the middle of the first line, the flute part was a little bit different. Some of it was the same, but I hope that didn't throw you off beat. There's a couple places where the flute part is a little bit different than the saxophone part. Um, and also remember that this song, the last song in every lesson, has a recording that goes along with it. So I encourage you, when you feel like you have that one mastered, to try to play it along with that recording that I sent you. Okay, so that was lesson five. <laughs>